Hey everyone, this is Ting here with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, and with me today we have a special guest. It's Michelle. That's Hi. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle actually works here, so um, today what we're going to do is uh, talk to you guys about carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, there's a lot of people out there with carpal tunnel syndrome that just deal with the pain and numbness is what you did, right Michelle? So time. yeah, just know there is a lot of things you can do to fix carpal tunnel syndrome without surgery, even though Michelle had surgery. But um, uh, what I want to do today is talk about some of the, the tests that you can do to determine whether you have carpal tunnel syndrome, number one, and uh, how accurate the tests are. So I'm going to highlight the, the top four tests that we would do in the clinic to try and determine whether someone has carpal tunnel syndrome and uh, give you an idea of how accurate they are. So if you like this content, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and um, we're always going to be producing uh, new content on a regular basis, so be sure to like us. All right, so one of the most um, common tests that people do in a medical facility for carpal tunnel syndrome is what we call the Tunnels test. So the Tunnels test is very simple. Um, the carpal tunnel runs right through this wrist here. And um, all we do with the Tunnel test is we grab our fingers and we tap right along the carpal tunnel syndrome. So you feel anything there, Michelle? No, okay, just so a tap. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome, a lot of times what this would do is create pain and numbness in through the thumb and these two fingers right here. That's a great test, nice and simple, but the problem with the Tunnels test is it's only around about 23%, 23% accurate in ruling in carpal tunnel syndrome. So it's not the most accurate test. What happens is, uh, in a lot of cases, is it may tell you that you don't have it when you actually have it. So um, not a great test, but it's one of the most common ones that we do. The next most common one that we do is what we call the Phelan's test. So Michelle, can we show the Phelan test for people? Sure. Like that? Put your wrists together and bring your elbows down. What that does is it compresses the carpal tunnel uh, in, in the tunnel itself. And we want Michelle to hold this for about 30 seconds because uh, the research shows that's the most um, accurate of the time frames. Um, but even based on that, this test is only 51% accurate in ruling in people with carpal tunnel syndrome. I mean, 51% is better than 23, but still not the most accurate test. How are you feeling, Michelle? I'm okay. No, no tingling, numbness, or pain, right? No. Okay, cool. So, the next test we're going to go to is the ultrasound test. Alright, so with the diagnostic ultrasound test, um, what we do is we actually have an image of the actual nerve itself. Um, we'll put it up in the uh, in the video so you can actually see what's going on. But uh, with this ultrasound test, it allows us to, to see the nerve and whether it's being compressed or injured or not. So with the ultrasound imaging, the accuracy of the test actually increases up to 78%. So we're getting a lot more accurate there in det determining if you have uh, um, carpal tunnel syndrome or not. All right, so the, the final test we'd probably do to uh, determine whether someone has carpal tunnel syndrome or not is uh, EMG slash nerve conduction study. So with this test, we actually get into the nerve itself and we assess how that nerve is conducting electricity just to see if it's being impinged upon while it's passing through the carpal tunnel. So what we would do is um, um, pass an electrical current or a, um, a stimulus through the nerve, through the carpal tunnel, and uh, if it is being um, interrupted in the carpal tunnel being pinched, we will definitely know that. So this test increases the accuracy up to 85%, which is one of the most sensitive tests that we can do out there to determine whether someone has carpal tunnel syndrome. But if we combine the EMG nerve conduction study with the ultrasound, that pretty much allows us to rule in and rule out whether someone has carpal tunnel syndrome or not. So if you're out there and you think you have carpal tunnel syndrome like Michelle did, and what did you feel, Michelle? Pain. Pain in my hand up to my elbow. Right, right. So classically, um, a lot of people would feel pain, tingling, numbness. Um, just remember you don't have to live with that pain because one, we can determine exactly how, um, what's wrong with you um, with some very specific tests. And two, we actually have a lot of treatments that's available out there for people with carpal tunnel syndrome and uh, help you prevent from having surgery like Michelle did. I wish I would have known that. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us.